Hello guys, welcome to my channel. This is the 68th tutorial in this course. And in this tutorial, we are going to talk about array of structure variables. Now in the last tutorial, we saw how we can declare structure variables inside the main function and then access the members of the structure using the member access operator and uh, put values in the structure members and then later on display those values on screen. And that's pretty much what we're going to do in this tutorial as well. But instead of declaring two different variables in the main function, we are going to create an array of structure variables and we're going to see how that simplifies a lot of things for us. So as you can see using code blocks, I've saved a file. I've given it the name array of structure variables. It has the extension dot C on line one in this file. I have the std io dot h header file on line two. I have the string dot h header file. And then on line three, I have uh, declared a structure called album. And it's the same structure with which we've been working uh, in the past. So it has four elements in it. And uh, all four of them you can see now are uh, arrays of uh, character characters, right? So title is an array of character or you can think of all of these as strings right so uh, title is a string that can ha have a maximum of 35 characters and then artist is another string that can again have a maximum of 35 characters and number of tracks in year both of these are also strings and the reason why i've declared these as strings and not as integers is because we're going to use the gets and puts functions to work with these two elements as well right so then on line number 10 i have declared the main function inside the main function you see that there is a declaration statement that declares structure variables but instead of declaring two variables as i told before we're going to work with an array of structure variables so i have to use the keyword struct first and then the name of my structure which is album right and then i have to specify the name of the array of structures that i'm going to use so that's album and uh, here the a is small case and then within square brackets i can specify how many variables do i want right so in this tutorial we're going to work with two because uh you know th these the code that is going to follow the declaration is, is pretty long right so i mean although i won't have to repeat the code for the variables that i have but still you know uh, to process all the structured variables it would require a lot of time and to avoid that i've just uh, declared an array of two variables and then on line number 13 i have declared two integers and they're called i and j and then on line number 14 i have used a for loop to loop over the code that's there between the curly braces on line number 15 and line number 25 and we're going to see that code but uh, the reason why we've used an a loop to go through the code is because we've used an array here right so in order to access both the variables inside this array we would have to use a loop right so the initial value of i i firstly is the control variable for the first for loop and the initial value of it is zero and uh, it's going to loop till one right so there are going to be two iterations of uh, the code between the braces and uh, then on line number 16 as you can see there's a printf statement that's going to display a message enter title on screen and then i've used the gets function to get the value for the title element for the first variable inside this array right so the first variable will have the index zero so that's why album within the square brackets you have i and the value of i for the first iteration is going to be zero right so album zero dot title would put the value inside the title element for the first variable in this array of structures then on the next line i have another printf statement that's going to display the message enter artist and then i've used the gets function to get the artist name and then i have used printf to display the message enter number of tracks and then i've used the gets function to get the number of tracks for the first variable and then printf says enter year and then i've again used uh, you know the gets function to get the value for year right so this entire process is going to be repeated one more time when the value of i is one right so for the next for loop iteration that is and then you uh, must have noticed that i also have a printf statement on line number 24 that is not going to display anything it's just going to you know print some characters on screen and uh, it's it's actually going to execute twice right and uh, once after each uh, for loop iteration and uh, it's it's just to make things neat right 
So then on line number 26, I have another printf statement that is going to display the message displaying on from information because now we've received information from the user, right? And now we would want to display it on screen. So we're going to do that using another for loop. And uh, this one's going to use J as the control variable. And you can see that I've given J the initial value zero and uh, its maximum value is going to be one. So again, there are going to be two iterations for this loop as well. And uh, in this loop two, I have a series of printf statements and I've used the puts function here because instead of getting information from the user, we're displaying stuff on screen, right? So on line number 29, there's a printf statement that displays title with a colon. And then, uh, you know, I've used the puts function to display the value of title. And uh, then printf sta says artist. And then I've used the puts function to display the artist name. And then again, you know, there are pairs of printf statements and puts function statements for number of tracks in here, right? And also I have uh, a printf statement on line number 37 that's uh, going to display the asterisk symbols and obviously it's going to split lines, right? So let me run this program. I'll have to click on build and run to do that. And uh, there you go in the output window. I see the message enter artist, right? So if I type in an album name, dark side of the moon and press the enter key. I see the next message, which is enter artist. If I type in Pink Floyd, press the enter key, it asks me for the number of tracks. Type in nine, press the enter key, it asks me for the year. I'll type in 1973 here. And then you see that, uh, uh, you know, after a line break, I see those uh, series of asterisk symbols that I included in the printf statement that I had in the main function in the for loop. And uh, then I am asked for uh, the title again, right? So this is because we had two structured variables. So for the first one we've entered and for the second one we are going to enter now. So I'll type in wish you were here. And then again, the artist is Pink Floyd and uh, the number of tracks in this album, the five and the year in which the album was released was 1975, right? And there you go. When I press the enter key, I see that uh, after a line break, I saw the asterisk symbols again, and then there was another line break. And then I see the message displaying information. And then the information that I uh, supplied as input to the program, that information is displayed, right? So I see the title is Dark Side of the Moon, Art is Pink Floyd, number of tracks, and you know, again, the same thing for Wish You Were Here. So that's it for now. In the next tutorial, we are going to check out another feature of structures maybe. So please subscribe to my channel in case you haven't already and uh, I'm going to see you soon.